Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today's a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Getting this started. Please remember that our schedule for the rest of the school semester, 7 to 10, you're going to be doing your elective classes. I don't know all the elective names, but whatever is not the core classes, that's what you're doing every day from 7 to 10. Then Mondays and Wednesdays, you see me in geography. Um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, English biology starting at 10 o'clock. Don't forget my 10 o'clock session. I am not doing live sessions because I love making my videos, so I do not come. If you don't need the extra help, um, where's my thingamajig? Is it this one? Um, please remember that at 10 o'clock, I will be there, but it's just for tutoring. So right here it says 10 o'clock. It says it's a live session, but for me it's tutoring because I post my videos. Videos are a lot helpful because you obviously get to pause, rewind, rewatch, whatever you need to do. Tutoring is just for um, any clarification, but we're doing a lot of decimal stuff, so we should be good to go. How do I get into a live session? Obviously it says meet, click that. You're going to click join. And then you put the code. Where is the code? Right there. A9ALLSN. Okay, so make sure you know how to get in there. If you don't know how to get in there, let me know. It's a little complicated because obviously all the teachers did this together. If you need a extra tutoring hours, you go 1 o'clock, put that stuff in. Now, I do have a duty position at that time also, so you must tell me if you're coming because they're not... I won't be in the room, and I won't know if you need the additional help, but please let me know. As on for today, there are a couple things we need to talk about. Right now, I'll get the lesson started. Don't you worry one second. Notes, video. If you want to have a little bit of fun, you can do that. Make sure you do the quiz. I messed up on Monday about not having a quiz. Make sure you do this one. I think it's there. Let me double check. Uh, questions. Yes, all the questions are there. Make sure you do the quiz. Make sure you do the quiz and the discussion. And then right here on the very bottom is a very important folder. You're going to click both of these. Now, you click here. Let's talk about the first one. Clever assignment. You're going to click here. Right now, I'm going to have the video to explain what exactly to do. So make sure you click that. And then you'll see Clever right here. You click that. And then it goes on and on and on. And I'll talk about that in the next video. But let's start with our lesson. Okay, I'll talk about the folder in the video that's going to be in the folder. <laughs> no worries. All right. Let me take this off. Notes. So today we're talking about uh, the solution set of inequality systems. So we're still doing our two lines, but now we're having the shaded regions. I'm going to show you the long version and then the shortcut after the long version, okay? But before we get started, let's remind ourselves what each of these symbols means. Remember, if you have a sheet of paper or something that you're writing your notes on, that's great. If you don't, let's try and figure out what we can do to help you. All right. First, let's name the symbols. You should know, boom, greater than, greater or equal. Why is it equal? Because it has a little line underneath, which means equal to. Right here, looks like an L. This is less or equal. Shoot. Next one is greater than. Have we done this before? Yes. This is just adding an extra line. And then this is less than. Remember our shading. Let me do this a different color. Our shading is where our line is, whether we shade on the bottom or the top. Greater that means the top or above. Less that means bottom. Greater that means top. Less that means bottom. Our line type, don't forget. These two is a straight line, or we call it solid. Right here, 
does not have the equal to sign, so these two are dashed, which is boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we've got solid dash. Make sure you know the names. Make sure you know where to shade. But, of course, using Desmos is going to make our life a lot easier, so don't get too overworked. You don't have to memorize it. But you do need to remember for the future exactly what everything means. All right. Again, I went a little faster right there. I deleted kind of um, quickly. But you can pause it, write it down real quick, and then move on. Okay. Of course, I gave the directions. We're going to graph the first inequality by itself. Shade correctly. Make sure you have a solid or dashed line. And make sure if you're shading above or below the line. Okay. We're going to do it by hand, and then we'll do Desmos. Probably asking yourself, sir, why don't you just show us Desmos? Well, I can, but that defeats the purpose of teaching because obviously you do need to know it by hand as well. Okay. Looking at this equation, I need to know my slope. I need to know my intercept. And I need to know where to shade and the line type. I'm going to highlight the symbol because that's going to tell me what to do. So that one was this one. Make sure whatever notes we wrote right there, you go look at it real quick. And let's do it. What is my slope? It's the coefficient in front of the x value i go to my x three over five that's positive that looks beautiful since it's positive that tells me that the three we're going up three spaces five to the right please remember this is slope we did this last semester you need to reinvigorate your mind on what we did last semester my y-intercept my b value is where it crosses the y-axis through a certain point right here that's going to be my five not just five but Negative 5, because the minus makes it a negative. Next, we have to talk about the shading and the line type. This is where you come over here and you look for that piece of information, shading. We wrote that hopefully you put it on the bottom part. The line type was this area, and we should have remembered it's solid. How did I get that piece of information? You should have been able to write down the notes because I'm giving it to you. Pause the video, read what we did, and do it. Okay. And then we go in the specific order to shade. Start with this guy, negative 5. Remember, it's on the y-axis, so I go to negative 5. I'm going to plot a beautiful big point. After that, let's add a couple other points with this slope. Up three, five over. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. All right, not too bad. We could actually shade. I mean, we could only put one point. That's perfect. After that, what type of line? Solid. Get my handy dandy ruler. Solid means just a straight line, so I just put a straight line. Obviously, it was Dutch. It would just be little fletches, little parts. And then we shade on the bottom. Looking at this line, what's the top and the bottom? You should know that, okay, this is the top. This is the bottom. And then, boom, shade. We did this before. This is the solution set. Anything that's in here is an answer. We're going to talk about the line right now when we get to the bottom two. But let's double check this. Let's make sure that you got this par. Let's use Desmos. Let's verify that it's solid, that it's shaded on the bottom, and we're going to be good to go. Y is less than or equal to 3 over 5x minus 5. Go to Desmos. I have it right here already. Hopefully you do too. Graphing calculator. Let's put it in. Y. I need this little part to put the less than or equal to. It's right there. 
Then let's put three over five, three dash five. Oops, that's a two, five. Press the side to put my X minus five. All right, let's look at it. Oh, I also forgot to fix my thingamajig. Remember, it's a tool. I like to put arrows right here. I like to put one on the step part. There you go. Beautiful. Exactly how we like it. It's a solid line, so that means it's not dash, 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 shaded underneath. Of course, this is a great tool to check your work. I know we're going to have the temptation of, you know what, I'm just going to graph it, graph it, graph it, graph it. But in some cases, we do need to be able to do it on our own. Okay? Let's go to the next one and clear this. And let's go to the bottom one. All right. So right here, it is a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. I won't lie to you. It is a lot of work because we have to get all the pieces of information for both questions. Yes, we are going to use Desmos to see what's up, but we need to be able to do it by hand, so don't forget that. So let's do it. I'm going to minimize this one real quick. I'll make it big again, but I want to be able to have enough room for all the information. I know my all-stars, you guys are going to have a sheet of paper so we can write each thing. All right. So for the first thing, we need my slope. Slope is in front of the X, which is 1 over 2. Let me fix that because I need a better fraction. 1 over 2, positive, up 1 over 2. And then my B is the number in the back, my constant, which is positive 2. That's cool. Next, let's talk about the symbol. Symbol is less than reference back to your chart, less than. What type of line is this if it's less than or equal to? You're going to have a solid line. Oops. Solid line. Less than means I'm shading on the bottom. Very, very key things. Should we graph this line first? YOLO, let's graph the line first. Remember, you're starting with this part first. Positive 2 on the y-axis. Positive 2, beautiful big circle. I know a lot of us are going to go to Desmos to make sure we're doing this correctly. I really appreciate that. After that, let's do up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and we should be good to go. Next, I have a solid line, so that means I just get my handy dandy ruler. Solid line means just a straight line. Boom, boom. And then we're shading on the bottom. I can go ahead and do the shading right here. Of course, you can always fast forward a little bit just till I get to finish this part. I know this video might be a little bit of long, a little long. But that's a okay. Yeah, beautiful shading. That means that this is my solution set for the first equation. Are we done? No, because we have two equations now. Let's switch up the colors. First thing is my slope. Slope is a coefficient in front of my x value, which is negative 2. I can't just have a negative 2 because it needs to be in a fraction just like the one above. What do I put under my 2? Imaginary one. Next, I need my B value, which is my Y intercept, which crosses my Y axis. Boom. B value is a constant, which is not just three, but negative three. Next, I'm looking at this symbol. Let's use red. Less than. That's an awesome because now it's not just a solid line. This is going to be a dashed line. 
dash line is the little flechitas, little picket points. And then my shading is less than, that means it's on the bottom. All right, let's do it. We start at negative three. We put a big, beautiful point at negative three on the Y. Bim. Next, the slope is negative, so this is a good one. We're going down and then one over. So I'm going to go down and then one over. Put a point, and I can stop right there. Get my ruler here. Okay. Now, dash line, don't forget, it's just boom, 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 boom. So getting this line, I'm just going to go doon, doon. I'm going to go boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's line. That means that if there's a point on that line, it does not count for that line. It's a not part of the solution. All right. And then we have the shade on the bottom. What's the bottom in reference to this line? Let me take out the ruler again. So the ruler is right here. What's the bottom? Is it this part or this part? Hopefully, you know, if I have my line like this and I straighten out my arm, my elbow needs to go like this, right? If I straighten out my arm, what's the top and the bottom? This is the top. This is the bottom. So that tells me this part is the bottom. So I'm going to shade all of this and check this out. Oh, I didn't do what I wanted it to do. Or did it? Oh, yeah, it changed colors. Awesome. Check it out. Hopefully we saw that one part of the shaded region did change colors, which is the solution set for both of my equations. I'm not equations, but inequalities, I'm sorry. How do I know? Well, the first shaded region was, I, I think it's blue. I'm sorry if I'm the wrong color. I'm colorblind. And then we have the red for the second one. And then putting them together where they overlap, this is what we want. Let me get my black marker. This is what we want. This is my solution set. That means if there's any point in here, if I have a point right here, that's an answer. Check mark. What about if it's over here? No, that's not an answer. What if it, it's over here? No, it's not an answer. What if it's on the intersection? It is an answer, or is it? That's a very good question. I want to say no, because it's on a dashed line, which is not part of the solution set. That's a very good one. We would probably have to go verify by doing some extra work. Maybe I'll do that for the review on Friday. But this is the key element right here, ladies and gentlemen. Making sure that whatever point is here, those are good to go. Okay? For the most part, we're always going to give you questions to double check if it's in this area. But you know what? Hey, sir, I got completely lost. Don't you worry one second. We're going to put these two equations into Desmos. We're going to see how the first one is this, the second one is this, and you'll see the shaded region right here in the bottom left-hand side. Let's check it out. Y is less than or equal to 1 half X plus 2. Y is less than or equal to 1 half X. Oops, I forgot to do my little thing. Press the side button, press X. Was it plus 2? Yes, plus two. We see the first shaded region on the bottom, just like how I drew it. Second equation is y is less than negative 2x minus 3. y is less than, not with the equal to, just less than, negative 2x minus 3. Boom. As you can see, we have my first shaded region. This is not it. 
I have my second region. This is not it. It's this region that I want. Anything that's in here is the solution set. Any point that's in there, you're good to go. All right. Make sure you also know, because I know some of the questions is going to be just graph it. Make sure you understand this is how it looks like. But what's the most important part is this region. All right. I'm going to leave. Oops. I'll leave you all to decide if you want to do that one. It's pretty interesting because it has the greater than now. Make sure you can try and graph it. Understand that the points. I want to go jump to the quiz just to make sure we all understand exactly what to do. Hope everyone's having a grown, wonderful day. It's 9.17, so hopefully some of you all have a, had a good morning. Graphing the solution set. Preview for myself because I don't have to take it. You have three attempts. All right, great. So it says right here, which point is in the solution set? Doesn't look that nice, but please recognize that this is the shaded region right here in the middle. All you got to do is plot these points, see which one's in the shaded region. Remember that it's X and then Y. You can also plot these points in Desmos and you can see it, but obviously we don't give you the equations because I want you to try and plot it by yourself. Okay. Not too bad. Next one. Another one. Shaded region. Plot these points. X and Y help you with this first one right here. I'm going to do this one, 2, 1. So that tells me 2 is X, 1 is Y. Got 1, 2. The point is out here. So that is not part of the solution set. And that's all you got to do. See which point is in the shaded region. Not too bad. Next one. Okay, right here are the equations. You can definitely use Desmos, desmos.com. Verify, put this equation in, see if it looks like that. Kind of hard to tell, but the shaded region is right here. Okay, so you do that one first, then do this one, this one, and this one. Help you big time if you use Desmos, but I understand if you want to be a all-star, you want to try to do it on your own. And then the last one, not too bad. Gave you the first two equations. You can graph it, see which one it matches, and that's the quiz for today. Hope you all have a terrific day. Make sure, oh, forgot. Make sure you go to this folder at the very bottom. You want to click this. I'll have the I'll have a video up here in the top explaining exactly what to do. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.